Hey everyone, Brent Thompson here with MCT Productions. Today we're going to be driving the road ditches out on the country roads and I'm going to show you guys what to look for to find some asparagus along with some bonus oyster mushrooms. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Brent Thompson here with MCT Productions. I'm going to show you guys today on how to identify and what you should be looking for and to pick wild asparagus just along the roadside ditches here. Come around a corner here, we just drive on the back roads real nice and easy and slow and just keep our eyes peeled in the ditches. And what we're looking for are these plants that stick up just above the grass and are seeded. And then you can tell even on this one here, it is ready to be picked, but it's still above the grass. So once you get your eyes trained, you can pick the ones out driving along that are ready to be picked without seeing seeded ones. And then also, you'll look down this bank I'll show you guys and there's just a bunch of seeded ones all along so you get out and you comb the grass and look around all these seeded ones and that's when you'll find your shoots and you can pick and as you drive along a good big seeded piece almost looks like a bare Christmas tree they stick way up above the grass as you see there's one big one back there You can't miss them almost. And as you drive along and you see these, you hop out, you look along, and you will find some asparagus shoots nearby. These are a young plant on this ditch. You can tell they're all just small as you look down. So we're only gonna harvest probably a couple out of here, and that's it. But you can see there's a thin one. We're gonna let it seed. There's a couple back there, tiny ones seeded, seeded. You can tell somebody cut one. You can just see all the way down this ditch. There's another one that's been cut, cut, and then this one they're letting seed. So we're pretty much just gonna let this ditch go. But I'm gonna show you guys a few more ditches that are just like this. And like I said, you just walk along this ditch and you check next to these seeded ones. You can see there's one right here and there's one that's been cut. These are about the smallest I would pick. They're a little bigger than a pencil. They're probably a fat pencil. So you just pretty much just snap them off. This here is a totally edible piece of asparagus. I choose once they start to branch just to leave them to seed, but you can pick this branch right here. It's totally firm and snappable. People do. I just choose to leave them once they get this branchiness to them. Now this one here is super thin, so I'm going to totally let that one go anyway, even if it was ready to be picked. And then as I said, as you're driving down the road and you see these, stop and look because now here is one that is totally perfect and ready to be picked you can totally you can take your fingers and just snap or you can take a knife and cut them and as you look down this road this ditch line here's a tiny one here's one that can be picked here's one that i would choose to leave and so on you can see down this ditch they're all over so i'm going to take my time and walk through and i'm going to grab these and just snap them off and we're gonna walk along and look for more that are hidden in the grass that we can't see And these here are golden oyster mushrooms or yellow oyster mushrooms. They're just about to start to dry out. This top one's getting a little dry. These here are perfect. These are still moist. These are just a little bit dry, but they're getting on the edge of being pickable. I like these big ones here. 
are nice and golden. And they're just starting to dry, but what you do is you can get up underneath and you pick. You can see they're gilled. They're kind of a meaty mushroom. A lot kind of actually like the flavor of a morel when you saute them in butter and stuff. But you cut the stem off. Well, right even with where I'm pinching there. And then, sorry. Then what you do is you saute this mushroom. You can chop it up. You can pretty much do anything. You can even pickle these. There's a bunch of pickle recipes online. Now, like I said, these are oyster mushrooms. The, these are goldens or yellows. They come in grays and pinks also. And those are the ones that you find in the store a lot. These are actually not that common. They're found on dead stumps and dead trees. And they're a nice little bonus when you're out riding the ditches looking for asparagus. So keep your eyes on dead stumps and dead trees in the woods and find these oyster mushrooms because they are delicious. Well, as you can see, we did pretty well. We got a nice, good probably pound and a half almost, I'd say, of asparagus. We went about six to eight miles. I didn't really pay attention, but the unfortunate part was a couple of my better spots were actually hit before I got there. All we found were stumps and one or two pieces in each of those better spots. So that's the unfortunate part about picking wild asparagus. You're not the only one that does it. There's quite a few people around that do it also. I recommend about June through August time. Take a GPS or even like Google Maps on your phone you can drop pins on ride around take a road trip get a buddy your old lady or just grab the kids if they're being cranky and they need to take a nap take a little cruise out on the country roads find that seated tall asparagus remember where it's at pin it whatever you need to do then come back next spring end of march beginning of april go right around those spots and check them out you'll be glad you did there's quite a bit of asparagus to be picked and had so hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more make sure to leave a comment and like this video especially if you guys are interested we might do a pickling video i do a lot of pickled asparagus and we even do a bunch of pickled mushrooms stay tuned and uh, we'll be back with a lot more videos